والله يدعو إلى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء إلى صراط مستقيم. Uh, we should try to find a female gynecologist at all times. Uh, she said it's quite difficult in the country that I'm living in. Most of them are males. Uh, we really can't find female gynecologists. What do we do? Uh, do we have to stick with the males? Number one, the general ruling that there is something called aura that a woman should conceal even from another female, even if this female is her own mother, even if this female is her own daughter. And now we're talking about the private part, which is uh, the most a dangerous area when it comes to aura. We call it al aura and mughallada It's very serious. So whether it's a male or a female, it is prohibited for any person to look at your aura except your spouse, only your spouse. Then it would be permitted with conditions according to necessity. So if there is a necessity such as delivery, giving birth, and uh, uh, the need to uh, to see a gynecologist, then the lightest is to have a female and a Muslim female gynecologist. What if there is no Muslim female gynecologist? Then female, even if she is non-Muslim gynecologist. If there is none, there is a difference between there is none at all and what the sister said that most. If most, that means there are some. If there is even one, then you have to stick to the female. We don't go to... Uh, uh, we don't go to the next step unless if this step is not available. Unless this, this solution is not available in the time being. So in this condition, I say, if there is a female gynecologist, that you are not allowed to see a male gynecologist. But if there is no female whatsoever, then with a limit, and in the presence of your male mahram, and with covering the entire body except for the part which needs to be checked on, and in the presence of your male mahram, Whenever it is very necessary, it becomes permissible.